I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll explain you how a complex number can be written in polar form. Now this polar form is also known as modulus argument form. The two examples here are z equals to 1 plus square root 3i and here we have z equals to 0 minus 2i. We'll do them one by one. When we say polar form, what do we mean? Uh, let me explain you that part also. So let us say we have this coordinate system, which we actually call modulus argument form or a polar form. In polar form, we represent the complex number with the help of its distance from a point, which we call the pole, let's say let's say the distance is r and the angle theta. So in terms of r and theta, we represent the point p. The axis here, we take the real numbers here, let me write x here, which normally will be represented by a real number. And on this side, let me write i, y, saying that's the imaginary component of the complex number, right? So if I have z as equals to 1 plus iota or i square root 3, it means along the x, I'll use the same diagram. I know this may not represent exactly what we're trying to, but anyway, it helps to understand at least. So it means that 1 is the real part, so, so this is 1 for us, and the height here is square root 3 is square root 3 so the point p could represents this this function or i should say the complex number z which is 1 plus i square root 3 as you can see in the given diagram the x component could be written as r sine theta right r cos theta and the y component could be written as r sine theta, where r is the distance from the origin, which we refer to as pole in polar form, to the point, correct? So, so we could say x is equals to r cos theta, and y is equals to r sine theta. So z could be written as r cos theta plus i since that is represented by the imaginary part i sine theta right and taking r common we get cos theta i mean i should have written r here also r sine theta taking r common we get cos theta plus i sine theta so that becomes the polar form now, at times, you can also write the same thing as r and theta, right? So that is another form, which is also a polar form. Yeah. When we say modulus is r and argument is theta. So, so modulus is the magnitude r and argument is the angle theta. So we always take this as positive value, like a distance. Okay. Now, from this, I hope it is very clear how to find r, right? You can find r from here also. Use Pythagorean theorem. This is right angles. Is it okay? So the modulus could be found. So modulus is always positive as the x component square plus y component square. Is that okay? So in this case, 1 and square root 3. So it is square root of 1 square plus square root 3 square positive value so i'm not writing absolute here since square root is always positive is it okay so that gives you square root of 1 plus 3 which is 4 and square root of 4 is 2 so for this complex number r the magnitude op is 2 now we need to find what theta is now theta is we can find the ratio right square root 3 over 1 this side is 1 that is square root 3 so you can see tan theta 
is equal to square root 3 over 1 and uh, we'll use special triangles okay I don't want to use uh, calculator so we have 1 2 square root 3 for the angle pi by 3 here right so tan theta is opposite over adjacent so here you can see that gives you theta equals to pi by 3 now coming back to angles many students in grade 11 will be learning about polar forms and they might not have shifted from degrees to radians so they can use degrees however standard is to use radians right so by default we'll be using radians but the students in grade 11 who have not learned about radians should be using degrees so both can be used okay so once we get theta as pi by 3 then we can write this complex number z as r which is 2 for us within brackets cos of pi by 3 plus sine pi by 3 and you know this is the imaginary part so we write i here always is it okay so that is how we write and you could also write in modulus argument form which is r is 2 and the angle is pi by 3 is it okay so that is another way of writing the same thing so i hope it is very clear how to write any complex number in polar form right we'll take a couple of examples in this list of videos to begin with i have taken just two so now let's get back to part b of it where the complex number is 0 minus 2i so let me sketch this then it will become very clear now in this case you can see that z is 0 is the real part so, so you don't really move towards this part but 2i is with negative sign so you move two units down so that becomes minus 2i is it okay this is the imaginary axis and the magnitude clearly is 2 so as you can see here magnitude is 2 so we can write let me make some room here for this part b okay so let me rewrite the question which is for us z equals to 0 minus 2i so you use standard formula x square plus y square so normally normally we'll be writing the complex number as x plus yi so where r is square root of x square plus y square is it okay so r x component is 0 so square root of 0 square plus you can write minus 2 square which will of course give you this is 4 and that gives you 2 so we know what r is and to find theta from the diagram also you can see it is that angle right so this angle is 3 pi by 2 so you know theta is 3 pi by 2 now you could also write this as minus pi by 2 so that is also an option so let me rewrite this in polar form so now z will be equal to magnitude r within brackets we can write cos of 3 pi by 2 plus i sine 3 pi by 2 is it okay or if you want to take the negative component in that case remember two things one what is cos of minus theta equals 2 that is cos theta but sine of minus theta is equals to minus sine theta is that okay so you could write also write this as two times cos of pi by 2 minus i sine pi by 2 right replacing it with minus pi by 2 is it okay or as i was saying you could also write this as the magnitude in this case is 2 so you can write this as 2 and the angle is 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 so, so these are all complex forms in, I should say, complex numbers represented in the polar form. So I hope the concept is very clear. So the idea is 
get the magnitude and the angle that is the modulus and the argument to write any complex number in polar form. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. We'll go through a few more examples and then it will be absolutely clear to you. Feel free to write your comments and share my videos with your friends. Thank you and all the best.